Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind-ish playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Commander difficulty. I just want to showcase the game a bit and we're, we want to kick some ass. Today we are joining the Cleaner Intelligence Hub uh, Persistent Mission. So, minus 10 global panic if we actually go through the mission, but it is a difficult one. So, that's not underestimated. We're going to launch our team. And we're not going to go in with a weapon platform, which is why I took a second Grandier. Also, as you can see from our naming, life is cheap in Xenonauts, but uh, I gently slotted uh, the most commenting viewers in. If you want to be added to playthroughs, just put that uh, into the comments and I'll get you into one of the playthroughs over time. JP Port, Natalia, Shadow Realm, uh, Aziz Aldar Krai, Uncle Nuber, Zoe, Jimmy Lat, uh, Tony Roomber, and uh, Dilly G have made it into the Prime team. So we got two snipers, two heavy, two grenadiers, one assault, two shields. Let's launch the drop shop, uh, drop ship, and get this quite difficult mission on the way. Let's see how well we're doing without any upgrades. Doing it right away. Commence into tactical battle. Here we go. We landed, and as you know by now, once you land. There's no way back. Let me do this here just slightly a reduced volume. Okay, so that way I don't need to shout against uh, all of the shots. So it's going to be a hard mission. Not only do we need to capture 10 items from the desk, but we also need to fight against a lot of enemies. Moving up, lots of enemies spotted already. Making it harder for us to get hit. Might use a flashbang, might use a grenade. We're going to see about that. Cover, harder to get hit as well. And Yep, that guy just took a grenade to the face like a champ. Didn't even blink, not for a second. Moving to here. You gotta be fast and furious. I think we're going to explode maybe that section here he killed his own friend that's good you should not tolerate friendly fire Look, we could charge up here. I think there is really no good way of going about that. Heavy weapons. I will take an entire turn just to move up. Same on the other side, likely going to see enemies here as well. Hunker down, more important than accuracy and let's teach these guys a lesson. Lots of enemies spotted, by the way.
100% shot uh, on here, 95% shot on here, no shot on that side. Let's get down, standing shot, still no bueno. 100% there. What do we have to deal with? Another 100 here. Okay, let's give it to him. That's a kill. I want to also commit to uh, this side here. That's another kill. Well, that's what is why we love snipers. Can't run too many of them, but you can most certainly run a few. Um, I would stand for now. Mainly because that means we can shoot over our friends. As long as the uh, vision is unobstructed, snipers are actually okay. Moving over here with our assault. And I think that's our first turn. We can't fully get this guy. But three kills, two open, uh, two open sections. That's not bad. It's slightly suppressed there. Good. You're one of our helpers. Go and uh, rush in. You're an extra mimic beacon. One that we could use. 95%. Right, let's go. There we go. Snipers at work. I love it. Open that. And open that. Very good. We have a nice little view on all of this. Somehow need to make it over here. And we need more support. Good, we need more grenades next turn. The reason why I'm rushing in like a madman is because I know farewell. That the game will not wait for us. We need to push forward really, really bad. Salt moves up. There was one of them hiding. Okay, well, at least we know where they are. Holy shit, we're getting hammered. Go down and If possible, hunger down. Moving into 
cover here. Good, better shooting angles if we're moving up. And I think we're okay. End of turn. This here might be a bit of a problem, but we will manage. Shattered Realm. Couple of hits there. Oh wow, we're being under fire. Good, so let's see. Jim, still full health. Shadow Realm doesn't look as good. So we're healing ourselves. Still back to 40 hit points. Cool. This, by the way, not so cool. You should not uh, stand in the way of a grenadier. Let's sincerely hope that this is not going to kill him. It is not, but it is vital to open the line of sight. Oh, nice little 93% shot. Good. Problem solved. Whilst we're at it, might kneel down. Good measure. Okay, cool. We're going in further, deeper. Opening the walls here. And there. Very nice. Okay, so we got two. There is the third computer. Right behind cover. Move all the way in. Okay, cool. Can't hit him. We do have a lot of open ground. We're moving all the way up here so that we could stand here and take shots with that sniper. Let's suppress the guy. Before going into cover.
good. Or we do have overworld shots here. And I think... It's a bit out of range. Uh, we don't have enough data. We definitely need to get into this room. I think there are four data pads here. One here, that's eight. So we potentially need to even push in further, maybe on this side. I don't know, it's dangerous to push into that middle section. Um, sometimes there are more uh, data pieces over here. Good. We need revision. Might as well move over. Soon reinforcements will come. Oh wow, we're being hit instead of uh, the guy. All right, F you. Okay. All right. Let's march on. Hmm. These two are annoying. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Move on uh, to here. We got enough in order to make that shot. Of course, we're getting shot in the chest instead. Successfully removed the uh, the object there. 23% is suppressed and goes down. Good. We're spotting multiple enemies here. here. Fortunately we destroyed that one. One, two, three, seven, eight. I've got a ninth one there. Good. Next turn we can go in and take that. We can equally go in and take that. Good. So now the question becomes reload with heavy smoke. Maybe. And just prevent them 
them being the enemy, to have clear shots. Sniper moves up so that we do have a long shot there. I prefer to hunker down, don't want to risk anything. No. Yeah, can't hit anyone here. 38. How about we're doing this? Hunker down. And slightly over here. That's still 38 uh, to take a shot. and 20 okay I see so that thick smoke really adds up nice hunker down It's actually beneficial for us. That is also not bad. Yeah, currently I don't want I don't even want to remove any anything else. Shield is going to move in. Grab that next turn and we're out. Grabbing and we're out. Okay, end of turn. The smoke grenades aren't bad. I was not giving them enough credit. And this guy is now suppressed, plus takes a lot of stun damage. But somehow still manages to put in shots. Holy. Oh. Well, so much for our sniper. It particularly worked out well. I had all of this covered, but unfortunately it really did not work. Hmm, okay. So we're slightly bleeding, but you can see she is... No, she's actually not fine. She's not fine at all. Good, capture that. Charge over there. Hide behind here. Okay, well, so far that uh, looks uh, decent. We now got all of our items. And I have to wonder. Can we throw it just one field off, right? That's unfortunate. Okay, but we do have a sniper here. 
has a clear shot. But thanks to the smoke, not so much. Moves out. Where's the med kit? Did we forget to put med kits onto all of them? Okay, so we clearly don't have one here. Nope. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Is she bleeding? Currently not. Moves into cover. Can't get another shot, but uh, elsewise we're going to go down. The only one with a med kit is Shattered Realm. Who's this, by the way? Aziz Aldar Cry. Hmm. Okay. Good, let's take the shot. Nice. Killed him right away. We're moving out. Sniper begins to move back as well. Slides down, that doesn't matter. We are just covering all of this. One kill. And next turn, we're just going to run over. Should that realm will move over to heal. <clears throat> And listen, Yulot will leave her and uh, we'll just lay fire, every, uh, lay uh, covering fire everywhere. One more sniper for covering fire, and we should be good. Definitely suppressed, takes more stun, takes more hits. And then becomes unconscious. Love it. You don't want to run uh, want to run through smoke if you can prevent it. So we're funding them all through here now. Yep, this guy is going in at the right time. The 
good. Moving to here. And let's put bleeding out. Oh, come on. I moved too far. Well, that is unfortunate. Wow, that's a nice sprint. Polly is really quick on their feet. Well, only got high explosives left. We don't want those. And I think at this point we are more or less in a full retreat. Good. End of turn, next turn, we should be good to escape. Our buddy here is trying to hold his own, but unfortunately got killed right away. I like the, the smoke grenades, they are adding a nice uh, little touch to it. Good, problem solved. I don't want to let anyone bleed out. Crouch here, crouch uh, there. Crouch reload. Front line. Okay, we're almost there. One more turn and we should be good. This guy eats a lot of stun. Gets this one stupid shot off and that's about it. Okay. And that is it. Mission complete. Fabulous. It's one of the more difficult ones, so getting that uh, right off the bat is exactly what I wanted. Okay, after action report. 31 days wounded. Shoo, that's not good. Got two wounded, uh, Natalia Ray, as well as Azizal Darkrai, 
uh, wounded. But look at the amount of extra items that we're getting. Crimson Heart, more than 30 um, damage will give you plus one to all attributes. So got two Crimson Hearts, that's good. And you can see just the overall amount of stat boosts uh, that we got. A lot of accuracy, bit of reflex, bit of time units. Only thing that can't really go up that often is bravery, unless you're Uncle Noober here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any more data. But we've now found out about the cleaner operations. Good work on recovering the data. Bad news is it's still harder than expected. Realistically, we need to assume that the agencies, um, all of the agencies have been subverted um, under full alien control. The extraterrestrial influence reaches deep, although digging into classified uh, um, entities isn't exactly easy. Um, it suggests potentially thousands of cleaners structure assembled uh, those of cells. We don't know the exact location of these regional command cells, but once we make enough progress, we can crack the cleaner network. Good. Your progress towards identifying the cleaner network is shown at the bottom of the screen. Well, there is zero. Oh, here, cleaner network, 20%. Okay, cool. So, in terms of soldiers, as you can appreciate, number one, they are getting more experience as they are sitting in the training facilities. Number two, uh, both Natalia and Ziza Aldarkrai are both out of commission for now. Not cool, but we gotta do what we gotta do. The last mission. I think I should have gotten more medkits. Only having one is actually not a smart idea. Good, we got agne alien magnetic weapons. Shotguns, rifles, LMGs and snipers. These are slight upgrades to the normal weapons. We're going to get combat armor next. And when you look into engineering, I think what we want to do first is sniper rifles. Two for overall um, fifty thousand. Good things are are going okay so far. Let's see what the next action item is. We have more living quarters now, so there's an actual excess in capacity, which we will need because we want more scientists. Soon we uh, we get that and we also get extended uh, range of the ra radar. And hopefully our medical facility will improve our healing rate. Good. Slow time and center on UFO. We got our first UFO. Small. High altitude. Time to launch interceptors. Let's go. I haven't done air, air combat yet. So curious to see how this is going to go down. Fuel, 90%. No armor. Weapons are okay. Commands attack. Tail target. Do not begin combat immediately. Now we can do the combat. Tail over land. No, commands attack it is. So we got two Sidewinder missiles, which I think should move first. Yep. Oh, 
All right, Angel 2 goes in first, takes a big fat hit. We're good, we're good. Okay, well, well, okay. Interception results, interception successful. We can either get 100k or launch our combat team. When you for crash landers, local government will offer organization cash bounty for the salvage rights. No, 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 no. We want uh, our tactical mission. We're still f fresh and fit enough to go about that. Um, let's see about the soldiers. They've actually recovered remarkably well. So a shield and a grenadier, which means... Let's get Ender's Striker in with a solid strength score. Um, good reflexes, I think. I'm wondering which of these two is better suited as the shield carrier. I think uh, we're going to go shield here. And we are going with... Shall we go with another grenadier? No, I think rifleman this time. Actual rifleman. Knick-knack. Good. I prepare everything and... This is at the end of uh, today's episode. Next time, we're going to see our first UFO landing, which is going to be exciting, isn't it? I can only speculate what we're going to find. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Xenonauts 2, consider buying the game. There's an affiliate link down below uh, where you even get 10% discount. Else, I'm going to see you in two days. Take care. Bye-bye.